Good afternoon. In case you are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be studying SCP-6572. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item number, SCP-6572. Classification Level 2. Containment Class, Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. The current location of SCP-6572 is unknown. Therefore, containment efforts are to be directed towards falsifying reported cause of death for any of SCP-6572's victims, as well as explaining damaged infrastructure. Footnote. As of September 12, 2017, these containment procedures are no longer applicable. Description. SCP-6572 is a sword advertised as being able to cut through anything. It is not affected by friction. SCP-6572 also appears to be resistant to high temperatures and pressures. Discovery. SCP-6572 was one of several otherwise unnoteworthy anomalous items seized in a raid on a Marshall Carter and Dark warehouse. During transit, the electromagnetic suspension unit housing SCP-6572 failed. SCP-6572 pierced its storage unit and proceeded to fall into the ground. SCP-6572 was initially presumed neutralized. On December 1st, 2002, witnesses in Perth, Australia reported that a man, quote, exploded into viscera. High-speed camera footage indicated that the cause was SCP-6572. SCP-6572 traveled in a parabolic arc, re-entering the Earth approximately 30 meters away. It is presumed that SCP-6572 will re-emerge in Bermuda, the point on Earth that is directly opposite of Perth. SCP-6572 has been classified as Euclid. Update. April 30th, 2003. On April 10th, 2003, Witnesses reported that Donald Duck at Disneyland had been scattered across the park. Surveillance footage indicated that the cause of death was SCP-6572. It was determined that while SCP-6572 does not appear to be affected by friction, it is affected by lateral forces from convective currents present within the Earth's mantle. As such, without a comprehensive model of the Earth's mantle, it is impossible to accurately predict the trajectory of SCP-6572. As such, SCP-6572 has been upgraded to Keter. A full list of SCP-6572 emergence events is available upon request. Over 50 emergence events have been directly observed. Update June 30th, 2010. SCP-6572 appears to be accelerating. At every emergence event, SCP-6572 travels further before re-entering the ground. It is estimated that SCP-6572 will escape from Earth's gravity by 2020. Update September 30th, 2017. SCP-6572 left Earth's gravity well on September 12, 2017. Containment efforts are no longer necessary. SCP-6572 reclassified to neutralized. Note from Dr. Solstice. No more dangerous than other space junk now. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.